Uh, Burundi is a small country, but with about uh, over 10 million inhabitants. And uh, it's close, close to 45% of the population is under 15 years of age. Considering that the average number of children per woman is 6.4, um, you can see that there is a huge youth population in Burundi. But we can also see that, uh, according to the latest uh, Human Development Report, um, it's about 81.3% of the population that lives with $1.25 a day or less. Um, so we need to tap into this uh, youth workforce. And um, UNDP in Burundi, in collaboration recently uh, with UNFPA and UNV, has launched a youth employment and social cohesion project with the Peace Building Fund, um, targeting initially three provinces uh, around Bujumbura, Bujumbura itself, the capital, um, the suburbs of Bujumbura and Bururi, um, a province nearby. Um, and uh, and the, it's, it's, uh, it's a project that uh, is meant to be uh, Bit holistic in itself in that um, it seeks to um, uh, strengthen the cohesion within youth communities but also to provide employment um, using the uh, three by six approach of UNDP whereby um, youth who are engaged in work and, and particularly the um, high uh, maintenance work um, can save one dollar a day and then are um, uh, supported in reinvesting these savings uh, to have um, investments of their own or, or small enterprises. Um, the importance of youth is very much uh, on the agenda of the entire UN system, actually in Burundi, not only UNDP. Um, more recently, um, UNICEF, UNFPA and UNDP filed a proposal with the Human Security Trust Fund, again, for the youth, and again, a holistic project um, taking into account not only the social cohesion for youth, uh, but also sports activities, psychosocial activities with psychologists, so that people can learn to be together and dialogue, and of course the employment component is there as well. Uh, this is an active workforce, the, um, they, they are, there's an education system, these are people who want to work um, in UNDP, we, we, and, and now I'm going to talk internally as well, we see it because we are trying to um, employ a lot more young volunteers yeah so we bring in through UNVs young people so that we train them within UNDP it's part of the capacity building but we also have um, a national youth volunteer program with UNV implemented by UNV which has been very successful for the past year and a half with a promotion let's say like a, a group of 235 youth who have been given work opportunities because they do get a small stipend for you know in return for their work they are not only gaining professional experience but also getting a little bit of money and we've been able to place them within ministries with CSOs within various institutions and um, and, and that way you know trying to build this workforce further in a nutshell that's that's what's going on in Burundi. Fantastic. Do you have any message for uh, young people around the world that would like to be more engaged on uh, the implementation of the 2030 agenda and in, in building peace in, and resilience in their communities? Well, I've been very inspired here at this workshop by uh, the dynamism and the energy of the young people that have spoken at the workshop, especially from Liberia and from Somalia. And uh, perhaps, you know, these are countries that we may not have expected to have such a dynamic presence in terms of, uh, of young groups. And if anything, um, if they can be a forum or if they can share their experience with other countries, for example, Burundi, that would be very, um, very much needed, but also great. And uh, they are role models, I find, these young people around Africa. Thank you so much, Nathalie. Thank you.